Speed it up, slow it down. Bad chord, sorry. Bro, order in that. For military insanity. While Rand every scene would I hear a lot of political. Speed it up. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of cult of sap for a minute. Who's here with me? Brad. Brad. Who's Brad? Did I hear that right? Heard. Heard. Let's do a little. Let's do a little test here, if you don't mind. What color do you see here? Orange. Say orange. Yelling. And. Who is Ed? Then I. No. Bold. Then. Are you calling me Ed? Can we call Jasper and Lewis in here, please, for a moment? Can you get Jasper and Lewis, please, for a moment? Someone's here, I can feel it in my back. Who's here? Nobody's here. Somebody's here, I can feel it. Who's here? And if you answer to me, that means you're here. Don't play tricks. Jasper, Lewis, are you here? Here. All right. The name Ed. Are you calling me Ed? Was was Ed my name when you guys knew me? Can you answer that again? When you guys knew me in the 30s, when I was supposedly with you, was my name Ed? Yep, there's twice now. Okay, so that explains that. So they're calling me Ed. Um, can you say the last name? What was my last name? Logan, I heard it. Okay, okay, so it is me that they're talking about. Led Logan. All right, so that name has been coming out and coming out for a long time. Does Logan mean anything? Mr. Dave. Was Logan in the mafia? I'm a. Say, yeah, right. my arm. How many other people besides Jasper, Lewis, Mike, and possibly Logan are there? Even more than what I have posted up, it's just been coming up. The whole week they've been saying, Ed, 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 every time I turn it on. Now, people can believe this, or they don't have to believe this. <laughs> but um, these sessions are... Um, insight to me, you know, for me. And each one of them has to do or deal with usually Jasper and Lewis 
And for the past year and a half to two years, I've been gathering information on this channel slowly, and it all comes together to this point and further so that I can, <laughs> what was that cartoon noise? So that I can learn about them and so I can learn about myself. And that's what sessions are supposed to do. Now, when you're on an investigation, you're trying to gather different evidence. You're trying to gather evidence of that location. You're trying to gather evidence of those spirits that, that live there or that may have needed help. Nobody here needs help, so you won't see that often here on this channel unless I go out somewhere or if somebody comes in and asks for it. So, um, I will do that. We do do that. It's just you're not going to see it a lot here in, in these sessions. Jasper, Lewis have both crossed over, is that correct? Yes. See? And they need no help, but they do help me, and they still see me as, as Ed. I mean, they don't see me as DJ or Dennis, although I will hear that come through every once in a while. All right, so I know that when I hear the word Ed, that you are referring to me. <laughs> Now, Mike, where is Mike, Ben? Where is Mike? He was coming through all week and now he's gone too. Lord and Mike. So, a team was in Virgin at the Virgin House a week ago, and a psychic showed up with that team and she said, Why are all these mafia guys there? She was referring to Jasper Lewis, Mr. B from across the street, and Mike Niambi. Gotcha. Now I am friends with the owner there, and since they follow me, they've also got a relationship with her, so they do go there a lot. So that was a really nice confirmation from somebody that we don't know, we have never met. So what are you guys doing down at the Virgin House? What's happening there? Can you tell me? Is it business or pleasure? No, you can believe this or not. <laughs> but um, I woke up the other morning. It, it, it might have been after 4 a.m. My back was cold. I wear... I wear this cross necklace every day. I can barely get it over my head, but I can. And that's the way I take it off. I don't unclasp it. I was laying in bed, and I was cold on my back. The middle of my back was freezing. So I got up, and my necklace was laying in a, in a perfect circle pile, like a little snake rolled up in the middle of the bed, clasped. So I picked it up and I put it back over my head and I was thinking, oh my God, this doesn't go over my head easy. Why is it on the bed? And I don't take it off. I, I leave it on. Um, if I do take it off, it's it's shower just so it, in case it tarnishes, it won't. It's stainless steel, but or silver. But I put it right back on my head. So if I was to take that off, inadvertently in the middle of the night it wouldn't have come off easy and if it did come off it would be over my head on the pillows it wouldn't be in the middle of my back perfectly rolled up do you guys know who did that you do who was it all right you guys thank you that's about it for today I'm going to kick out of here early. As soon as the UPS man comes, I'll do a little work and I'm gone. You guys have a good holiday. Yes. Okay, goodbye. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.